Good morning, modern steaders. Getting ready to go out and do the feed the goats. And Gina just called. She thinks she met the truck delivering the barn down the road. So we gotta keep our eye out for that. They'll be here any minute. I'm hoping I can get the goats fed before they show up. Good morning, goats. There you go. I'll have to come back to the goats in a minute. <laughs> I see the truck, guys. Big day on the homestead today. This is pretty exciting. Here comes the truck and trailer. Not sure if you can see them down there. How are we doing? Pretty good, how are you? Good. This one looks good. And there's more tin, okay, so there's more tin here. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. This is the main building. Does that go back? Ten feet, really. Trailer must cost a little bit of money. $60. <laughs> I believe it. Wicked custom. I'm sure there's not. Actually, they aren't, believe it or not. No? No, these are, uh, these are considered uh, um, typical.
Hope we don't need to use that today. I call that precision. I've done it once or twice. <laughs> I can. I would say so. <laughs> she lies <laughs> awesome thank you now we can feed the chickens of Newby Oak City they're getting fed a little bit later today but it'll be okay we got the barn dropped off guys so exciting someone's got a new puppy dog in the area and today is day four of the heritage cooking crash course it's been a great series so far and today's video module is on home dairy and water bath canning. We're going to do another giveaway guys today. Oh, I love being able to do giveaways. We're going to be doing a giveaway from New England Cheese Making Supply Company. It's a 30 minute mozzarella ricotta cheese soft cheese sample pack with a stainless steel skimmer. The kit value is at 73 bucks. It's going to be a fun giveaway. If you want to get in on the giveaway, sign up for the Heritage Cooking Crash Course. You haven't missed out yet. And then go in the comments down below and let me know that you signed up and that you want in on the giveaway. That's simple. And then tonight, uh, tomorrow morning, I'll pick a winner and I'll reply back to the comments. Figaro, are you keeping an eye on us? What did you guys think of all the commotion, huh? You heard it, didn't you? Yeah. That's the new barn. Woohoo! Four eggs. All nice. Everybody's going to be asking, let's see the plans for the barn. Let's get this video to 50,000 video views and then I'll, I'll do a video on the plans and the setup and design of the barn. What do you think Figaro? You're already checking it out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six bundles of lumber for the building. I'll show you a little bit of it. It's all strapped in nicely. These are the rafters. They're all cut. These are our, some of our 4x4 four four posts. They've all got the notches in them. More of our 4x4 four four posting. Over here we got more rafters. 
all pre-cut to length. We got our bird mouth notches put in. We're gonna be building a post and beam barn and these are the kits for it. Everything comes labeled, telling us where they go and what they're for. So OH2, RD, RD, nice. I like the wrapping. We got plastic up on the top of it and the sides has got a mesh netting. So this is all breathable and we can leave it sitting in this packaging till we're ready to build it. That's really nice. I thought maybe I'd have to get some tin roofing to put over it and strap it down, well, but we don't. Over here we got our doors. We got our walkthrough door, our overhead door. More pine rafters. We got I think some of our pine boards. We got some metal roofing here. And I saw some more somewhere else. The area we cleared out is just big enough. That worked out perfect. You think this is a jungle gym for you, Figaro? Huh? You think this is a playground? Come here. Something for you to do now, huh? Yeah. You can protect the barn. Tonight for dinner I want to do a whole roasted chicken with some potatoes, with some roasted potatoes and carrots. Now I need to remember to bring out the carrot pails and ends to the goats. We cook a lot of whole chickens. We raise and butcher our own meat birds right here in the homestead. And we don't cut them up into parts and pieces. Well, we haven't in the past. Maybe this year we'll try to. But we'll, we're done processing them. We put them in this nice heat shrink bag. I give the bird a nice pat dry. This way we can get the butter on it and we'll give it a nice crispy skin. Kind of stick it breast side up in our glass plate. And get the wings a little tuck under. Just fold them. Looks like that. Put our vegetables all around it. A nice drizzle of melted butter. Sprinkle it with some Himalayan salt. Mince in a little bit of garlic. tin foil on it for about an hour. This way it'll help ensure that the vegetables cook up. And then after the hour, I'll take the tin foil off and I'll finish baking it uncovered. You look like you're all bundled up. Pretty windy, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at Buttercup. You gonna give him some carrots? The saying, give us our carrots.
You're not gonna have any blossom? Oh, you already got some. We get to share our dinner with you. You got all the carrots. You got them all. I'm like, all right, we'll eat our hay now, I guess. Watch out, Figaro, don't jump on you, Pluto. Might be slippery. Oh, the snow wants to fall off the roof of New York City. Oh, sweet. Four eggs. Thank you. I'll be back tomorrow. That skin looks good, Libby's. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to thank all y'all. We just hit 70,000 subscribers late Monday night, first thing Tuesday morning. So thank you. That is a huge number. The barn got dropped off. That all went good. I was impressed with how well that all went. Nothing got dropped, banged, or the people who were delivering it, they were professional. The equipment they had was awesome. So excited to have the barn on the property going over the plans, figuring it all out, the layout, exactly where we're gonna put it now. And now we need the snow to melt, guys. Oh, it's such a busy time of the year, this time of the year, I love it. Thank you all for coming along on our journey with us. Oh, don't forget, I, well, I almost forgot, we have the DIY cheese making kit giveaway from New England Cheese Making. It includes like, I think three or five different cultures for making different kinds of cheese and then a stainless steel skimmer that goes with it. If you want in on the giveaway, sign up for the Heritage Cooking Crash Course. If you already signed up, perfect. And then leave a comment down below, comment cheese, and you'll be entered in, and tomorrow morning, Friday morning, 
I will pull the winner for that. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us. It's going to be an awesome year this year, guys. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.